Yo, what's going on guys? SCN Zone, what I'm bringing you guys today's video of me explaining how I believe that scuff control is overpriced. Let's go, that was fast. But, uh, yeah, so, I believe that it's overpriced, guys, because the pro scuffs cost 150 bucks, and I honestly don't see any purpose of them really costing that much other than four paddles or two paddles that you would want to put on your... First of all, for those of you guys who don't know what a scuff controller is, a scuff controller is a controller where you could put like two or four paddles on the back of your controller and you can configure them as buttons. So say one paddle is going to be B so you can drop shot and one paddle is going to be A so you can jump shot or whatever. doesn't matter. Um, you can mix and match them the way you want so you're more comfortable while you're playing. And it also has these nails in the back of your triggers so you could shoot faster instead of having your trigger go all the way down it could only go halfway to where the gun would actually need to be shot so um yeah that's the only reason I scuff controller and I don't see that really costing 90 bucks more than a regular controller I mean if anything if I was uh, going to purchase a scuff controller which I was thinking about that's why I'm making this video after I seen the prices, I'm kind of second guessing it. I'm thinking about actually just sending in my controller to the send in service of scuff, where they'll scuff up your own controller. But the problem is with that, I only have one Xbox One controller at the moment. So if I send in this one, that means I won't be able to play Xbox One for a while until I get my controller back, and I really don't want that. So, I mean, I don't know, guys. If you guys enjoyed, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.